Hello there gods and amazing goddesses of your reality. Welcome back. This is Manifest with Jenny and Nutritious Lives. I'm very relaxed. I've been to a wonderful waterfall today and got some lovely pictures and footage with SP. It's just been a really fantastic day and I'm so chilled. And if you could see the backdrop, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm really cherishing these moments here. Uh, but please like, subscribe and click the little bell icon so when I upload videos, they come straight to you. So let's get on with the video. I want to kind of backtrack a little bit because I I did, uh, well, I've, you know what I'm like, I, I do videos every day while I'm away. It's my opportunity to blast these videos out. But I wanted to go back to talking to you about traveling and uh, manifesting with traveling. And I came to a few conclusions and this is what we do mentally en route with our manifesting journey you know thoughts become apparent we are not um, able to access and uncloak all our 70,000 80,000 thoughts um, a day and 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 just sort of realize you know come to these revelations constantly things occur over time as you get more efficient with manifesting things pop up and you think oh my god yeah this is this has been the thoughts at the back of this and why I manifest this like rightly or wrongly you know uh, to your detriment or or for your desires right um but with me with traveling as i've said to you before i've had lots of um lots of occasions where it hasn't gone smoothly which i'm sure that a lot of people can say the same because we communally um come together with these energies and manifest you know that that we're trying to manifest which is sometimes for me not very good uh, uh traveling conditions that are not conducive to being nice and relaxed and rested right so um but I, 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 things were highlighted to me really when I got, got over here because it was so smooth uh, travelling this time. And um, before I, I, I tell you and uncover why that is, um, I also want to say to you that, um, you know, I always manifest. I never pay for sitting next to the people I'm with because I just always, I enjoy manifesting something simple like being able to um have the universe work it out for me or my subconscious whichever way you want to put it for me to to sit next to the people i'm with anyway and this occasion it was sp and now i think with sp he wouldn't mind me saying he's always wanted to you know get organized with things and and make sure we're sitting next to each other you know not taking any chances but i talked him into not not purchasing these tickets uh, to sit next to each other purchasing the seats and for one, I think it's disgusting how we have to pay for these seats. So on, you know, with my morals, it wouldn't allow me to do it on principle. Um, but, but, but also because, because I love to manifest this to sit next to, to the person anyway. It's a little bit of fun for me. So I talked him into doing it. And, uh, <clears throat> and also with regards to these are just little simple things they're not massive things but again it's all manifestation and it's all the same principle so you know take it for what it is it's nothing that serious this video really but you know this it, it applies to the smaller things and the larger things and he was stressing about the case so i never i never worry about the case scenario with the weights because I, I always manifest that everything's okay. If I'm slightly over, I never get charged. Um, but nine times out of ten, it's it's the right way. And he was he was a bit stressing a little bit because of obviously the charges and and they whack a massive amount on if you're over. We've we've gone with Ryanair, um, and uh, and so they're always it's a budget airline, so they're always trying to make their money up in another way, right? And um, 
so he was stressing about this and i was like babes it's okay it's okay i just know the weight's going to be perfect and um and we we, we we weighed it but the you know the weight thing isn't always accurate is it so we came to just over 20 kilos 20 20 point four or something like that and i was like that's fine that they'll, they'll let you off with that that's fine and everything you know i'm manifesting it's all going to be okay and there won't be any charge and um and as it turns out it was exactly 19.9 um kilo and uh, which we thought was great but i knew you know just again I, I knew the energy that i was putting over to to get in the right way it was non-resistance it was like yeah it's it's all it's it's everything's okay um where i go wrong is oh and onto the seat so you can tell how relaxed i am and then we got onto the plane and um we weren't sitting next to each other we had our tickets we weren't and uh and then as it turns out, because, you know, my SP is like six foot four. So he, he really enjoys that like extra leg room. So he was right at the front and I was about four or five rows back. And as the um, as this family got on the aeroplane, they all wanted to sit together and they clocked that he was there. And the mom to the party, she was sitting next to him just two seats and um, straight away like lovely family you could tell very nice and straight away they offered would you would you like to swap so you can be with your your fella and my mom can come here and we, was, we were like yeah of course so it was right at the front and he had all the leg room that he wanted to there was just us next to each other and it was pure perfection so again like all we say to you manifesting to sit next to my per the, the people i'm with is easy i do it all the time without pain because it's just a bit of fun to me so and you know he's he's kind of i said i told you didn't i there's nothing to stress about so he was really pleased and the journey was great but what i wanted to say on a slightly not a negative note um but i do you know it's it's important to tell you because it is highlighted that I, it was so lovely to fly this time you know birmingham airport was a little bit a little bit scatty as as it is at the moment but it was a pleasure everything was a pleasure and and it and then we had a conversation where he he was saying to me that when he flies uh, the air steward stewards or air stewardesses are always really polite to him and he always and and obviously I get to see how he manifests within his world. And so I've got that pleasure of, of you know, because everybody's you pushed out, right? So it's, it's, all, it's, it's all about me. But obviously, you know, I'm observing how he's the master of his reality. And so he's presenting to me as these air stewards or stewardesses are being so lovely and so polite and bending over backwards. And yet with me, I've had a bit of a mixed bag because of the disarray that I've uh, manifested with traveling. And so we, we had this discussion about that and it highlighted to me that, that yeah, that, that I've been given this energy of stress. You know, it isn't what I want, but obviously with the energy that I've been putting out to traveling, it's high energy. It's like, oh my God, here we go. Here we go again, all this stress. Because, you know, as I've said to you, I've been traveling for years and I've accumulated, you know, my circumstances and then accumulated more of the things that I didn't want. So I thought to myself, of course, that makes total sense. This is how I've been doing it. And, I, and the other thing it highlighted to me was that I always feel like I'm the one in control when I'm traveling. So whoever I'm with, I always feel responsible for them whether it's, you know, my kids or the people I'm with in general, my mom, or I'm always the organiser of the holidays. And, and, and then it was apparent to me that I'm not the one who organises everything now when it comes to SP. He's more of the organiser. And I, well, we, we co-organise together, but he, he, he likes that as his role. And so it allowed me to have less pressure 
less energy towards needing to get it right everything needing to go smoothly because it's it, i was able to to switch off a little bit more and and then i realized that i was manifesting from that space from that space of i don't have to control everything and so it allowed my energy to be to be still to be calm and to allow to see um lovely things happen and with the unfolding so what it's taught me is applying this to other areas of my life i'm then gonna try to take the pressure off a bit more like jen you haven't got to be responsible for everything you haven't got to be the one to make sure everything is in place to make make others happy all the time you know just sit back other people will will help you in essence this is that's the point um so I'm going to work on that because like I was saying, this is a journey and every day I, I hope to get, and I am, getting more efficient with my thought processes. Where can I take that off there to create more harmony and peace within my life, you know, and, and to, to be the best coach that I can be, to give you the information, of course. So, yeah, it's, it wasn't a serious one, but as I've said, you can apply that to anything so if that's the million pounds that you're waiting to come into the bank allow your thought processes to come through to you know even if it's like i was saying these revelations came to me via having my conversations with sp have these conversations allow this um your thought processes to change through conversing you know it works for me I mean, this is why I'm a massive fan of communication because you get so many things resolved with being able to articulate your words. It's amazing. I kind of almost use the communication as a tech. It's a it's a tool. It's a technique to to manifest into me because words are so potent and powerful in Jen's world. So yeah, I'll, I'll finish it there for today. And the sun's sun shining on me again, so I'm going to get back to some more relaxation and um, I will see you in the next one.